the one thing about proof of work that I like is is that it forces decentralization to be driven by market competition so that there has to be so that the energy spent puts you in aligned incentives with other maintainers of the protocol to the point that we are driven to always look out for what's best for the network because it would be a lot more costly to attack the network, right? And as with proof of work, I have a direct feedback loop into what the market needs in real time because in proof of work, I hold the hard metal myself. A lot of people in proof of stake will tell you, and a lot of lies actually happen in proof of stake where they say, well, we as validators or we as block producers hold our hard metal but in reality a lot of these people are, are you know they they're the validators are just rented out amazon servers and and it's it, it's it's a shame it really is and so that's kind of my set challenge there for, against proof of stake um what are your thoughts so yeah i don't i don't um disagree there's a risk of a takeover but i would argue that risk is also present in proof of work um in fact, I think it's a bigger risk. Um, it's basically we're talking about a 51% attack, right? Where you have to, if you control more than half of the, of the in Bitcoin, the hardware, but in uh, proof of stake, the coin, then you can um, make unilateral decisions uh, about the protocol. It's a risk, uh, especially for small blockchains like for, for projects where the stake is where the coin is cheap in the case of proof of stake or when there's not uh, so many miners in the in the case of proof of work um, so it's a risk for both um, protocols in the case of proof of stake though it requires uh, an attacker to buy up 51% of your coin um, hypothetically pumping the price of the coin and uh, there's a good article by Vitalik where he explains he's like okay so if this happened to ETH right we had someone buy up 51% of the coins firstly the, the coin would like theoretically double in value then we the the legitimate chain like the chain that has been like an attempt to take over could choose to fork away from this uh, attacked chain and then if we if we as a community decide to fork to preserve the chain we could for example say those coins that were fit that were taken in the 51 hostile takeover uh, we invalidate them we burn those coins so what you've had there is uh, half the supply has been burnt so again, Again, you have a bullish scenario for the coin. Um, so I think that in an interesting way, proof of stake, you know, it has it has this ability to uh, uh, to use market dynamics to actually r prop up the value of the network uh, while securing while securing the network. Um, and at the same time, I think that it shares a property that proof of work has, whereby um, the miners in proof of work are incentivized to look after the coin uh, because it's their bottom line. In the same way, in proof of stake, uh, your infrastructure is also bag holders. So they have an alignment. I see an alignment of incentives. Um, the, the main issue with proof of stake that I see is that you have this uh, this problem of like oligarchy. So you have like people with a lot of coins making money off those coins, and then people with less coins making less money. So that's an issue. And also, you know, it kind of lends itself more toward like these kind of capture scenarios where you can imagine like a sufficiently wealthy adversary like buying up a huge amount of token and having undue influence on your network. This a problem um, so it's a problem that we're trying to take into account and also protect against through coin distribution so it's really important for us uh, to have a highly decentralized uh, distribution of coins uh, on DarkFi um, to ensure that those people holding those coins are ideologically committed to DarkFi that they're allies and they're not hostile attackers um, so that's a challenge for us uh, but, but we believe that it's possible uh, to bootstrap a genuinely um, radical, ideological, politically motivated community uh, to provide a kind of uh, um, attack resistance uh, base, base um, layer of, of, the, of the dark fire network.